what's going on everybody welcome back to the channel this video i'm going to show you how to stop buffering once and for all on your fire stick or other fire tv device um some of these also work for roku me tv sticks um nvidia shields and so on and so forth right but this is mainly a list for fire stick users fire device users um, before we get into it, if you're new, make sure to subscribe, smash that like button, and turn on the post notifications. It really helps out the channel, and we appreciate everybody that does. So starting off the list, guys, I wanted to show you something that not a lot of people realize um, is affecting them which is the use of third-party apps and IPTV services, um, free services, illegal ones, unlegit ones, whatever you want to call them. Basically, third-party apps that are not Netflix, Hulu, Prime Video, Paramount Plus, Discovery Plus, just basically not the legit ones, okay? If you don't know which ones are legit and which ones aren't, I got a video I'll put in the cue card now. Um, it's 70 legal, legit streaming websites or apps. And everything on that list is 100% legit. It's been checked by me. So what happens when you use these third-party apps is you're not getting the same links, hosts, or servers that you're going to get with a paid service or a free with ad service like IMDB, okay? You're not gonna get those same servers or nothing, but that's the first thing that's gonna definitely cause your device to buffer is using third-party or IPTV apps. Um, next is your storage could be full, okay? Let me show you how you can check that real quick. We just come all the way over to settings which is the gear icon you're gonna come down to applications then you're gonna come down to manage installed apps you don't have to click it but you can see here it says internal space I have 1.74 gigabytes left so that's not that much space but it's within reasonable amount to where it's not gonna buffer like crazy um, I'd say if you have less than half a gigabyte, I'd go ahead and delete some apps that you don't use. Uh, if you don't know how to do that, easy. Follow the same steps. Click Manage Installed Apps. And you just scroll down to whatever app you don't use. Let's just say Discovery Plus. Click it. Click on Uninstall. Click Uninstall again to confirm it. And let it uninstall. Um, just go through, go through the process, find out all the ones that you don't use, and go ahead and uninstall them. Uh, moving on to the next thing, guys, which is going to be related to this. It's going to be clearing your cache. Um, you can come up and in the same place where you go to manage installed apps, and you go to the list of apps where we are right here. You just go through every single one. You click it. You go down to clear cache. And you can see where it says cache, it'll change and it'll go to zero. Then you just click back and go down to your next app. Go down to clear cache and look what happens to the cache number 16.38. We're down to zero. Just keep going down every single app. I know it's a little bit tedious if you got, say, 30 apps or something. I got close to it right here. But I do it every once in a while, you know, just keep your device running smoothly and you won't have any problems in the future. So just clear that cache and you'll be good to go. Moving on to the next thing that could cause buffering on your Fire Stick is going to be background apps. So apps that are running in the background. And to fix this problem, you're going to want to download an app called Background Apps and Process List. You can go to the find tab come right here to search and you just type it in background apps and process list click it it looks like this here 
you're just gonna download install it and then open it up and you see right now I have three apps running so you can just come over to the side where it says close all apps click it and you're just gonna go to click for stop um, you can also clear the cache from here too you can just click clear cache and click for stop after you've done that you click the back button again on the remote and then you come down to the next one do the same thing for stop click back and so on so forth just repeat the steps and you'll be good once you're on the last one it takes you back to the screen and you see there's no apps open so you're good to go now the next thing that you can do to help buffering is check on your internet speed it could just be as simple as your internet is too slow you might need to upgrade um, usually fire sticks really don't use that much bandwidth on your internet connection so you shouldn't have a problem but if you do you can always test your connection download an app right here called test net speed just open it up you can test download speed ping um, download speed alternative a smart test and Wi-Fi land scanner I just do the test download speed you can see I'm running at about 30 Mbps so that's not bad it's definitely not the best another thing that you can see from here which actually brings me into my next tip is you'll see right here it says 5 gigahertz band um, the next tip is check your Wi-Fi band um, there's 2.4 or 5 2.4 is a longer range but it's a slower connection um, 5 is a shorter range but it's a way faster connection so usually just use the 5 gigahertz band if you don't know how to switch it just google a video YouTube it you should be able to find out it's not that hard um, if you have trouble even after that just call your internet provider they should walk you through it uh, next tip guys is just use a wired connection if you can um, some fire TV boxes they have an Ethernet port right on the back or you can buy adapters some places sell adapters Amazon um, other places online I'll be sure to put a link if I can find one in the description below and I'll put links for other accessories also so make sure to check them out now moving on to the next tip guys it's gonna be use a VPN um, it really really does help uh, especially if you're using those third-party apps that I mentioned you gotta have a VPN this don't necessarily fix buffering but it does help protect you and your IP address so IP Vanish VPN one of the best VPNs around um, I got affiliate link down below all right so the next thing that we can do to stop buffering is come back to our settings tab all right so after that we're gonna go down to preferences click on it and you can go through all these and take a deep look into them but you're gonna definitely want to shut off some of this stuff like data monitoring make sure that shut off um, you can mess with your notification settings you can definitely shut off this video autoplay and audio autoplay this eats up bandwidth it's um it's basically the preview window that you see on the home screen where it plays um, trailers of stuff so shut those off you don't need them then you're gonna hit on privacy settings go ahead shut all these off um, device usage data this is just using personal data collected by the operating system for marketing and product stuff um, then change app usage data you want to shut that off and internet based ads shut that off also after that guys I just got three more real quick ones we're just gonna run them off um, one your placement of your device make sure it's not on the ground make sure it's in a good place it can catch a signal and it's as close to the router as you can possibly get it um, don't put it behind a bunch of stuff you know don't put it by a bunch of metal that's gonna mess with the signal after that make sure to check on how many devices 
are running off your Wi-Fi because some people don't even notice you have about 30 devices on your Wi-Fi. Phones, tablets, computers, cameras, um, other Amazon Echo devices, Alexa devices, all types of stuff. So check that. If you don't know how to check it, contact your internet service provider. They'll show you how to do it. And the very last but not least tip is going to be check if your device is just an old device. If you got a first generation Fire Stick, it might be time to upgrade. So make sure to check what device you have. And, you know, if it's an old one, that's your problem right there, guys. So I think we named off about 13, 14 different tips for you. Again, if you're new, make sure to subscribe. It really helps us out. Thanks for watching, everybody, and I'll catch you in the next one. Thank you.